It's 1994. The Japanese government and others make great strides in supercomputing speed and power. The U.S. is worried about falling behind. NASA Goddard is one of the groups tasked with finding a solution. Thomas Sterling and James Fisher have a novel idea. Develop supercomputing speeds by networking clusters of off-the-shelf computers together with fast communication software. Many said it couldn't be done. Big, expensive supercomputers are the only way to go. But Sterling, Fisher, and their team persist. Goddard has experience handling the large amount of data pouring up and down from satellites and expertise in parallel processing. Their experiments generate processing speeds faster than most supercomputer systems used for complex processing at a fraction of the cost. They call it the Beowulf Cluster. It uses inexpensive computer systems to perform parallel processing and runs on a new open source operating system called Linux. The Goddard Group refines their idea, sharing their approach with other programmers and scientists. Soon, several groups are improving the process. By 1996, a Beowulf cluster system is outperforming the gigaflop performance of million-dollar supercomputers. And in 1997, the Goddard Group is awarded the prestigious Gordon Bell Prize for outstanding achievement in high-performance computing. NASA publishes their results and even a guide to building your own Beowulf system. By 1998, anyone could purchase a pre-configured Beowulf type system. Companies like Penguin Computing continue refining and expanding the impact of cluster computing power, especially for critical infrastructures such as U.S. nuclear laboratories whose computers calculate seven quadrillion operations per second. Today, Beowulf-style clusters are in use everywhere. Nearly every system on the world's top 500 list of supercomputers use Beowulf methods and a Linux operating system. It's another example of engineering and innovation in space research powering information flow on Earth.